Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is greatly appreciated. I know I have not been able to post and I haven't been able to get out any updates as far as where I'm at with Redfin, but I will let you guys know I am no longer with Redfin, but in this video, we're going to go over my entire Redfin lead agent experience. So hold your horses, make sure you guys stick to the end of the video please. And we're going okay. to go over everything that I experienced with Redfin. But just um, to get it out the way, the reason why I left Redfin wasn't because of any disciplinary actions or wasn't because of any, any negative. negative issues. The reason why I had to leave was because my wife had recently took the bar exam is, and is now a full-time practicing attorney. So it's so required my, of me to be at home a little more. Now, I did try to switch to the team that is closest to my area, but unfortunately, they were currently full. The market manager and the manager did want to meet with me just in case a spot did open up fairly soon. But after meeting with them, the salary just honestly wasn't worth it as it was working in the Bay Area versus in Stockton. So, so I was more than happy to jump back into traditional real estate because I know I was far more worth than what they were offering. And I'm not going to go into the details of that, but I will say working on the Bay Area routine was a far more worth it than the Stockton team. But let's get into my entire experience. I'm going to start with training. And I just will say, so training is four weeks. Two weeks is a classroom setting. Now you are on Zoom and it's kind of great because so in, in the Zoom, Zoom classroom, they're very flexible. Um, if you need to pick up your kids or anything, any errands or anything, they allow you to do that. They don't hold you to sitting in this classroom. They just want to make sure that you are grasping and gaining the material that they are offering. But overall, the training was great. If you have practiced real estate and you've closed a couple deals, this would be a completely refresher for you. But it's still something to learn from because Redfin wants you to present yourself in a way different from traditional real estate. But I will tell you that the training is it's a pretty much two weeks just sitting there listening to information that you've already experienced, you've already been through. Uh, but it's, it's great. Um, it's The trainers are awesome. They're yeah. successful Redfin agents. So you're learning from people that have done the business. And then after those two weeks of classroom training is when you start to get your clients, is when they start to just slowly but surely reel, reel you in building your pipeline. Um, and <laughs> Redfin gets you going right away. They don't hesitate. Um, you know, they're about their money. They're about getting you writing offers. Now, whether if those winning offers or not, it doesn't matter, but they want you to consistently be writing offers. So you have two weeks of field training after the classroom training. And you so you basically is when you're shadowing agents that's been in the, the Redfin business for a little bit, then you also start acquiring and, and meeting with clients on your own. And, and that's when the race begins. So when you start with Redfin, the scheduling is all up to you. Your it's manager will make sure that you have at least, I believe it's between 20 and 30 hours of in the field where you're meeting with clients, you're setting schedules, you're setting appointments. Um, That's basically what your manager is going to be looking at, making sure that you're in the field at the requirement amount. But basically being a Redfin agent is just like being a traditional agent. You're just now collecting a salary, but your schedule is up to you. You base your schedule around yourself. They do have set time frames where these are projected to be the most busiest time frames. So they want you to schedule mostly within that time. But we all know and in traditional real estate, most people are looking at houses later, later at night during the week and as much as they can during the weekend. So that's how my schedule was. I honestly wasn't in the field until about Wednesday every week. And then, but my schedule was open Wednesday nights and up. Uh, my schedule was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday nights. And then my weekend was just completely open as far as meeting clients. So, I mean, your schedule is basically your own. So you just make it yourself and it's just like traditional real estate. It's not something to be worried about or anything like that. But I definitely will say my manager was one of the greatest agents that I've ever worked with. My manager was definitely better than a Tom Ferry coach that I had. My manager my has been in the business for over 15 years and he's basically built the Oakland Berkeley team. So he was the first agent on this team and I mean, when I tell you this guy knows his stuff, because I mean, not only has he has a system as far as how you can put in your com comparable analysis and it runs and give you the best number that you should offer at, but I mean, he has so many templates step by step how to write an offer, the things that you will need if this certain things come up in the offer. There's so many things that this guy has put together that is just, that is just genius. 
And I am very grateful that I got to meet with this guy every single week of me being at Redfin. And that's not normal. And it's, it, now that I'm thinking about it, I really feel like it was it was definitely meant for a reason. So um, you meet with your manager one on one every week until you close five deals. Now, I didn't reach five deals. I will say that. So within the 10 months that I've been there, I got to meet with my manager every week and see me. I'm the type of person I don't compare. I don't compete. I don't complain about any clients or anybody or what anyone else is doing. I'm always working to grow and to better my craft. So me being able to meet with my manager every week, it definitely helped me out so much. I got to pick his brain as every chance that I got, everything that I needed to know, I made sure I wrote it down and I had it ready for them every week. Regardless of Redfin, the experience is what matters. My number one rule is who do you listen to? And I only listen to the people that are successful in what I want to do. And then I got to be with that every single week. And that alone was worth every cent that I paid to Redfin. But one of the greatest things that Redfin definitely offers is tools. Now, my manager was completely different. I can't say every manager is the same, but what he built as far as tools and resources, it was great. And then on top of that, we got the Redfin system. So we got the support teams that schedule all of our appointments. We had associate agents that, that went to any tours that we were not able to attend. But I mean, the Redfin system overall, I mean, it is great. I mean, you got the tours that are booked for you. You got CMAs. You got so many helpful information that you can provide to the clients. Like just alone, I was able to let a client know a percentage of how many contingencies were waived in a certain area. I mean, I, I at the brokerage I'm at now, I, I don't have that tool. <laughs> but I will say I'm, I'm very thankful of all the helpful tools and, and resources that Redfin provides for you as a Redfin agent, because I will say they work you. When I say that your schedule is what you make it, yes. But at the same time, you're going to be busy. If your schedule is open, something will get there. Something will pop up there. So be fully prepared. If, if you open your schedule, understand something will happen. Whether if it's a tour, a strategy session, something will pop up in your calendar. <laughs> All right, now this one, I wanna get as real as I can with you guys because I'm gonna talk about the clients. So I just want you guys to know the Redfin system is no different from any Zillow leads or anything like that. The clients come as they are. Whether some are pre-approved, some are not. Redfin doesn't discriminate. Whether if they're pre-approved or not, they want you to open that door for the client and you win their business. But I just want you guys to know, depending on your area, most cases, most Red clients that come through Redfin, they're using Redfin as just door openers. They're not... 100% sold on Redfin just yet. For me, it took me a few months to get clients to be completely sold on the Redfin system. Nine times out of 10, they have an aunt, they have a mom, they have a cousin that's a real estate agent. So um, you as a Redfin agent, you're basically trying to build trust with this person and let them know that, hey, what your mom, your sister, and your aunt can do, I can do the same thing. And you're basically just trying to win their business and let them know why Redfin is a benefit. And it's it's no benefit to either one. Redfin does offer a refund to its clients, but you can do the same. One thing I will say, basically, Redfin is giving you a pipeline for you to build up. The people that are listing agents with Redfin, they don't get new leads for listings. They are strictly building up a pipeline. All of their buyers are now sellers. So that's basically what you, what you build in the Redfin system. Keep in mind that you're just building a pipeline. That's basically what it is. But I will highly recommend, because this is something I did for myself, every client that you just build a rapport with, any client that says that, hey, I'm not ready to buy right now, but maybe in six months, maybe or so, I will use you or I will give you a call or I will keep you in mind. Any person you just build some form of connection with, create a separate spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet, um, even if you just put Microsoft Word and just put their names and phone and email addresses in it, I highly recommend you keep track of those people because that's basically what I did. So immediately when I was for sure done with Redfin, <laughs> I reached out to all of those clients. And I'm thankful because the client I'm working with now, she didn't like the Redfin agent that she was reassigned to. So now I get to pick that back up and keep on pushing. So. I highly recommend that you guys make sure you take every single client that you build a connection with, 
create a separate spreadsheet and just jot them down every time that happens so that no matter what happens in your business as a real estate agent, you will always have that data. But Redfin makes it very easy for its clients. Touring made easy, offers made easy. And I will just say that if I was a buyer, I wouldn't have no problem using Redfin unless I had some type of if I didn't have a relationship with a real estate agent and I was just looking to buy, I would have no problem with using Redfin because of the resources and opportunities that they offer for their buyers. So now I'm going to talk about the pay. So if you're on the Bay Area team, now I will say every area is different. I made this mistake when I first started. I thought everybody's salary was the same. Not everybody's salary is the same. And when I say salary, I mean your base salary. For me, I was getting 24,000. I found out a guy I was in training with was actually only getting 15,000. And I actually felt bad that I put it out there that how much I was making in one of my videos because he was like, dude, I'm not getting that much. And, but granted, I mean, this dude is killing it now, but at the time I felt bad. I'm like, dang, I, I just put out that I'm making more than him on a salary base. And I didn't, I thought we all got the same. So every area is different. Uh, I will say when I was switching over to the Stockton area team, the salary was 12,000. And that's basically why I didn't see that it was worth it. And in the Bay Area, I was getting 24,000. That was about almost a thousand bucks a check. I'll take it. As a real estate agent, you don't get that anywhere else. So I will take that. But anything less, I don't think it's worth it. Um, but so that was my base salary in the Bay Area was 24,000. And you get paid for your gas. You get paid for every single tour that you go on, which I think was like 40 bucks a pop. Um, so it definitely averaged out, right? Like if you don't have like deals just floating, it, it does get you by. So that was my basic pay. I'm not going to go over how much I made in each deal. That's something you have to find out on your own. The bonus structure is different between each areas that you work in. But I will say that... Um, I made some good money with Redfin. I closed one deal at 2.5 million. I closed another deal at 1.7 million. And those were the only two deals that I closed. But I will say what I learned in between the my entire experience with Redfin. I mean, dude, my confidence is just on a whole nother level. Like I'm at a place to where like I used to get worried or I used to just overthink things when it came to meeting a new client. Now, now it's just you can work with me or not. I don't care. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this. And it's <laughs> it doesn't matter. And that's just one of the biggest things that I'm very thankful that I was able to take from Redfin because I wasn't as confident as I was. I wasn't as 100 percent sure that I was able to do this. I just knew I had a passion for helping people. So I knew no matter what, I would figure it out. So I want to use this part to just give you guys a disclaimer. Redfin is a great place to work. I think Redfin is very great for new agents, but they will work you a lot. You will have a lot of business. You will have a lot of clients come through your pipeline, but you need to understand no matter what, you're here to learn and you're here to perfect your craft. You're here to get better. See, for me, I only closed two deals with Redfin, but within those two deals, I learned and I prepared as much as I could. So no matter what, even if I got 10 clients that was ready to put an offer today, it won't take me nothing to get them all completed and submitted properly. So I highly recommend anytime you have any downtime with Redfin, when I'm referring to clients, use that time to prepare, learn the contracts, learn the systems, learn the tools, learn the CMAs, Learn every single thing that you can so when you do get a client, no matter what it is, if it's a probate client, if it's a client under a corporation, if it's a client that's under a trust, no matter what it is, you can handle it. You are 100% prepared. And that's what I was able to build with Redfin. I truly believe I didn't close all these deals and, and make all this money with Redfin because I was meant to always be in traditional real estate but I was here to learn. I was here to gain the experience and to grow and how to be able to really manage this type of clientele. When I was in traditional real estate before, if I got five clients at one time, I, I would have a heart attack. But now I'm able to handle every single one accordingly. I know what systems to use. I know what contracts to use. I know every single process in which route to take when it comes to assisting my buyers. But I highly recommend this for all new agents. If you're trying to establish yourself and build yourself in this business, 
I highly recommend you go through Redfin. I'm not saying you start with Redfin, but it's a great place to just establish yourself. Like I've told many of agents that have reached out to me through YouTube, I will say if you can close one deal a month, especially in California, if you can close one deal a month, you don't need Redfin. If you can consistently get business to where you don't have to work a job and you can focus on real estate, you don't need Redfin. Redfin needs you. So I highly recommend this to new agents. It's not as easy for you to get on with Redfin as new agents, but I highly recommend you speak to your willingness to learn, your willingness to help, and your willingness to assist people and help people. You know, it's, that's a great way to get on with Redfin because that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for people that's want, wanting to make all this money in real estate. They're looking for people that want to serve and help people. And, and that's how you get hired on Red, at Redfin. I see so many people that get declined or don't get accepted. I don't know what you're saying in your interviews, but I highly recommend if you go in there and just like, hey, look, I like helping people, period, point blank. Nine times out of 10, you will be successful. If but you're I, going to be in this business until you die, go through Redfin. Experience what it's like to be told no all the time. Experience what it's like to be an agent on the go. I've had three deals in escrow. I've had four deals in escrow. I've had many deals fall out. I've had so many things that happen. I had many mistakes that I was able to learn from through Redfin that now I could take into my traditional business. Butter. <laughs> so I highly recommend this for new agents. If you are just brand new, you're still learning, you're trying to establish a career for yourself, do it. You know? And don't feel like you need to be a Redfin forever. Take what you need, take what you need to learn, and then go do your own thing. One thing I was still holding on to Redfin is that I wanted to be able to get the listing side of the business just so I could say that I got both sides of the training. But at the end of the day, if you've represented a buyer, you've gone through the listing process. You know what it's like to have to be presented with disclosures and go through that information, especially in your, especially if you're in the Bay Area because we provide all the disclosures, because we provide all the disclosures up front. But I will let you guys know I am very thankful for this experience. The confidence that I have, the willingness to help anybody, the systems that I have, it's just one of the greatest experiences that I'm very thankful that I went through. Um, and I, I highly recommend this for all new agents, you know, um, and do, do what you please with it. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys follow me. If you guys want to get in contact when you can find me on Instagram at Derek Real Estate, shoot me a message. I will try and get back to you. I'm back in traditional real estate, ready to be prepared, ready to offer you guys as much as I can. And um, yeah, you guys will get more videos from me. I haven't been able to post as much as I wanted because of Redfin. My manager did ask me not to post any videos, and but that was strictly to protect my my opportunity at Redfin and my position. And I didn't want to lose it because of anything outside of my production. But that's my entire experience. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to tell you. If you plan to do this until you die, it doesn't hurt to, to take a few months, 10. I was there for 10 months. Um, you know, a year, there's people that's been there for over five years. There's some people that just plan on retiring with Redfin. So it's up to you at the end of the day. I'm just here to share with, I'm just here to share with you guys my journey and how I'm just continuously developing and building my craft as a real estate agent. Hey, my name is Derek Swain. Remember, you guys can follow me at Derek Real Estate on Instagram. And please shoot me a message if you have any questions. I'm always happy to share and help. Take it easy.